everybody welcome to now it's dark i'm jim this is saturday morning circus where we do film reviews for clown horror movies so i found one from 2014 actually 10 year old called the damned thing um i first came across it though under the title of hotel hell so this is known as either or um very low rating on imdb we won't even go into that it's a horror thriller about three tales of horror that are told from the narration of paranormal investigator Eddie Osborne to his newly hired videographer as they document an abandoned hotel with supernatural occurrences. Directed and written by Derek Gran Otto. It stars Canon Buchan Buckingham, Zach Keppel, Elizabeth McGrath, Roddy Osborne, Miranda Kathleen, Carson Nicely, and more. Um, yeah, so it's somewhat of a um, anthology, kind of, and um, <clears throat> I was drawn to it because of the clown uh, aspect. So I didn't know it was going to be an anthology when I saw it at first. Of course, I saw the Hotel Hell cover, which has the clown on it. So I'm thinking it was going to be just that kind of story. I'm not totally disappointed that I keep getting tricked into watching like these anthology stuff that only have like one segment with the clown in it. Because when I get to those clown portions, I'm like, why didn't they just make a whole movie on that? Because I know I'm biased, but I tend to enjoy the clown part <laughs> the best. This one only had three um, stories. And it's kind of got uh, an intro and a wraparound ending, which I do appreciate about anthologies when they do that. So at least it did have that. This only had a $10,000 budget. So I'm not even like, you know, going to like rip anyone about like the quality or anything because the quality is good. Like the acting's fine and the quality is, is good. Uh, you can find it on Tubi. I think it's also on YouTube. I think I saw it when I was looking for the trailer. Um, it's also, it's, it's only an hour and 27 minutes, so it's like a full regular, but Tubi is the place to go. That's where I, I ended up watching it, even though it's on YouTube. Um, the first story, though, it really almost lost me because no clown in the first story, and it was like 40 minutes long, and that was just so much time, and it might have been because the intro bled into the story, and it just made it feel very long now once we got to the second one with the clown story um even though it was a mask clown mask uh i am warming up to that i do prefer like the clown makeup um and that but um it's it's the best story of it and there's like even like some fun backstory of the clown and so they show the clown as a kid and i love that it was so fun uh to see like a little kid clown uh in this horror movie and uh, that by far was my best part. And then the, the rest of the movie does get better. Like it was that really slow opening for me that almost, almost lost me. Second story had the clown, thankfully, because if the clown hadn't been till the third and I had to sit through another story, I would have maybe like, hmm, is this going to be worth it? Um, and then the third story was not so bad. And it was definitely, it, I wrote down the most horror-ish. Uh, so the first is, um, I, I want to say, like, when, you, when you're doing paranormal investigation, it's almost like thriller because you're just kind of like suspense and, and you're hearing story and it's just these guys talking and giving background. I didn't feel like the stories, the three stories particularly pertained to the location that they were um, exploring. And maybe I missed something about that. But the wraparound was good um, at the end kind of twisty, you know, they do their little thing with the twist and uh, kind of something that gets introduced in the uh, third story kind of comes back to bite them later. So it was kind of good. Um, I don't hate that I watch this. <clears throat> I, I am pretty sure on Tubi it was under the hot. I don't know. You're going to have to search the damn thing and then... Um, one of the two will come up, Hotel Hell or The Damn Thing. But I don't have a lot more to say about it. Uh, it's just okay. You know, like like I said, I wish the clown portion had been uh, its own movie. But I say that a lot. 
um, and having that little kid clown. I could have watched. I could have even watched that a little bit. It would have been kind of fun just to see that part of it. Um, but it kind of like gives you a a backstory into the mindset of why this adult clown became the way he was. And I don't want to obviously uh, give that up because that would be so much spoilers, and I don't want to do that. But thank you for tuning into the channel for today's review, and keep checking back for more great stuff. Row 18, plot 20. <laughs> Thank you.